Hey guys, I'm Justine and I'm here at Beer Brand and I'm about to cut Coleman's hair. So are you thinking, like, since it's, I mean, it's styled back right now, but you definitely want to... Part it to that same side there. Part it to the side and bring it forward and... Mm -hmm. Do you want to keep some length on the front of... Um, like to kind of like, I like swoop I like over the or link, yeah. You like the length on the front? The link maybe a little bit shorter. Okay. Um, I mean, kind of how we've we've rocked with it in the before. past, and just texturize it on top, and then clip down the sides as well. Yeah, and you're gonna style it. You want to kind of style it yeah. forward, and then wear a bunch of texture in here, and have the option to like kind of wear it clean or a little exactly. bit messy. Yeah. I own a small business, do pop-up bartending around the city. It's called Jitters Espresso and Spirits. So we deal with coffee, cocktails, mostly weddings and private parties and things like that. So it's it's important that keep my hair looking tight, keep it looking good behind the bar. It's an important aspect of it. You do like sea salt. I love, okay. love the sea salt look. Okay. Sea salt is always going to give you a pretty good maximum amount of texture, mm -hmm. depending on how much you actually want to put on it. Um, What's the right time to use a sea salt? Because I've been just jumping out of the shower, and then while my hair is still wet, I just throw a bunch of it in my hair. And yeah, it's great to put it in like right after the shower, but any time that you just kind of need a refresher, like if you wake up and mm -hmm. you have some bed hair and you don't want to like wet it again, but you need to revive some of that texture, you can always spritz some sea salt in it and toss it around. And then if you want to seal it with a little bit of like balm or clay or something just to kind of give it a little extra hold then mm -hmm. you can definitely do that cool so right now i'm just going to kind of like bring your sides in okay and then i'll let you kind of take a peek at it and then you tell me if you kind of are feeling a little bit tighter in but i think we're on the same page with like going a little shorter and giving you some uh just like a little bit more of an extreme look you know it actually is, uh, that's probably my favorite thing to do is just chop somebody's hair completely nice. off to try something different. Mm -hmm. But, uh, it's a liberating feeling. You know, it just depends. Like, I feel like you have to be ready. Like, everybody has to be ready for totally. that transition because I've done it to myself before and it felt great. You've buzzed felt, your head before? No, I haven't buzzed my head, but I've cut, I've cut all my hair off before once, really? yeah. I just had to know what it felt like to go super, super short. And then it transitioned into like some really sweet mullet, but <laughs> I had my mullet days and I don't think I'll go back now. I've always wanted to do collabs with these guys because I've been pretty obsessed with the product for a while now mm -hmm. and just like their aesthetic and everything that they're going for. Where do they sell their products? I mean, you can get them online mm -hmm. in their store. I feel and like then, I've seen it somewhere yeah, like recently, mm -hmm. like Target or something. Yeah, Target carries a, uh, a line in particular. Okay. Um, and it's like their white labeled line but they do have the gold and then the silver, which I have right there, mm -hmm. that one just kind of like an everyday kind of line and the other one has a little bit more premium ingredients in it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot uh, that goes into making those. So it's kind of like different tiers of products depending on like your likes or your needs. And I like it because there's such a wide range of like scents. Mm -hmm. And for guys that don't want to wear cologne or anything like that, I think like if your hair product smells as good as some of these products do, then that's totally. all you really need. Yeah. Agreed. So. Yeah, I used to spend so much on cologne, but I just stopped wearing cologne. Yeah. Like, hardly ever do I wear it. It's always a good to mm -hmm. yeah, I've been using tea tree stuff for a long yeah. time. So even when you're out like riding your board on the lake as much as you do, I mean, you could honestly put like one of the bombs in your hair before you go out there. So that way it just kind of keeps your hair like conditioned. It's not like, I mean, you're in the sun a lot and you're in the water a lot. So sometimes that can create its own damage. So if you put a little something in before you go out there, then it'll protect your hair and protect your scalp a little bit more. Yeah. So I always try to put something in my hair before I know I'm going to get in the water too. They have all sorts of um, 
videos that I think is kind of like sparking a lot of stuff for more men to like learn how to groom and how to comb and maintain and take care. So I definitely highly suggest that you follow the Instagram page if you want like little tips and tricks and stuff too. Cause then it's just regular guys too, just using this stuff and showing you how they like take care of their beards or their hair or like style stuff a certain way, like their routines. And I think that's what's really cool. It's like, I mean, so much stuff is in social media these days. So we learn from each other. I haven't had a mirror to like check my cut the entire time in a long time. So this is nice being in an actual barber shop. Sit in the shop and yeah. get cleaned up finally. It's been months. Well, especially after, I mean, I can't imagine like, especially like in any kind of like service industry and you're like, you know, you're still trying to get work, but then you're like, man, my hair is oh, that's a little why. crazy. Like I, I have to be in front of people. Like, yeah, that's why I, I had gotta, to just bite know. the bullet and just get, you know, whatever cut I could when the time came. Cause my, I just said I was going to grow my hair out because we were spending so much time on the water and I was just able to wear hats. But as soon as the bartending job started coming back, I was like, nah, this, yeah. this just doesn't, it's just not going to work out. You gotta look your best in front of everybody. Yeah. Well, I mean, you being an artist too, I feel like that's totally. kind of like a big was, deal when you can like meet somebody who you admire and yeah, enjoy their he's, music he's and their local musician. Like, like, and I've heard a bunch know. of podcast interviews with him and stuff. He just seems like such a rad guy. Yeah. And then I, I he came in to the point where I even respected his, his drink order. I was like, oh, <laughs> you're, my, you're my guy. <laughs> so I'm gonna start on the top of your head. Okay. I'm gonna trim it down a bit. And then um, just like the sides, once you kind of get a little peek at it, just tell me if you're kind of filling this part of the link, since this is what we're working on now. And if you want a little bit more, we'll go from there, okay? Have y'all been to here nor there yet? Is that the one that the uh, Driscoll? No, it's hotel? a sp speakeasy. It's close to the Driscoll though. Oh, it's, it's by a, the Driscoll. Okay. Yeah, it's on Seventh and Brazos. It's a little. You have to download an app in order to be like. You don't have to be a member. They have membership fees that you can pay, but you have to download an app and make a reservation, and then they give you a different pin every night. Oh, it's And then it's just yeah. like a basement kind of bar. It was under the refinery, that co-op working space, but the refinery closed down like a year ago. It's, um, it's a really cool bar. So I'm just lightly trimming the front just so we get that nice and healthy, but we keep it long. So I like this style. It's like a little bit of both, short and edgy, but you got some length in the front to play with. And I feel like it suits your, suits your look, suits your style really well. Everybody's kind of trying different things, I think, since uh, like quarantine, everything happened. And A lot of people decided to grow their hair out. Yeah, just open to new looks, new change. We've had it all embrace change, so. I just like to think of it as I'm cutting off some of like, you know, the, the quarantine life. I'm like, okay, here goes last <laughs> last Tuesday. Here's last month when you were feeling really, yeah. you know. I can see you wearing a beard. A very burly beard. Not Definitely like crazy burly, beard. but it was pretty severe. Do you think you'd grow a beard back again? One of these days, I think I will. It's an accessory that if you have it, you might as well like try it out here and there yeah. and you can always trim it back down. And Yeah, I ended up cutting it because I was going as Bob's Burgers for a theme day at Snooze when I was working there. So I shaved the beard and just let this really I mean, who doesn't nasty like nasty mustache. A Bob's Burgers dad mustache. I, 
I, I didn't love it, I'll be honest. <laughs> I got rid of it immediately. <laughs> hey, I didn't say it, it looks yeah. good on everybody, uh, but you know. I mean, somebody, if you can grow a hearty mustache like that, like, it's impressive. Do you think you want some of this texture back here a little bit shorter? Um, what up? Yeah, Whatever you, you want to think, kind of see it honestly, dry like, and see how it feels, and I can get in there and. I can. It already feels perfect, like this. Um, the front length you like. Yeah, the, the front length is great. Good. The texture's good. It's nice okay. and light. I like the sides. I mean, I'm, I'm digging it. All right, well let's um, let's put some sea spray in it and dry it and do a little bit of dry texture just throughout the middle, just to kind of like fill that up a little bit more. Okay. And if you overall like the length, then we'll keep it. Okay. okay. Perfect. And so sea spray, it's one of those things that you can use a lot or a little bit. You kind of have to teach yourself how much preference you choose. Mm -hmm. But this is such a light mist that it can be a little bit more like aggressive with spraying it all over. Okay. And it's something that you can add to your hair after it's dry, like I said, too, if you just feel like you want a little bit more, okay? So prior to hair drying is the best time to use Yeah, it. you're gonna get a little bit more texture when you bring it out uh, with the blow dryer, okay. but you can still you know, air dry your hair with the sea spray in it and then kind of toss your fingers through it cool. once it's dried a little bit more, just kind of amp up that. But you can do either way. Okay. I always suggest trying both just to see what you like best. So another thing when I blow dry is like, of course you can just blow dry and just run it through your hair, but if you kind of use your fingers a little bit, you'll get a little bit more rootless. That's probably like my favorite way to do it. Like you can use a brush or a comb if you want to, but I like to get my fingers in there and kind of tassel it up a little bit myself, yeah. And for you, since you're gonna wear it the opposite way, sometimes if you blow dry the front going this way, mm -hmm. you'll get a little bit more of a motion going yet when you flip it back the other way. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Very good to know. Have you tried that before? No? Nope. Yeah. I'm gonna get in here and soften up some of this okay. a little bit more for you. My hair used to be really blonde. When I first cut it, that's when it just turned brown out of nowhere. It was really strange. That definitely happens to a lot of people. Yeah, it's really odd, because it was like golden blonde up until I cut it when I was 15 years old or so, 15, 16. So I got mistaken for a girl quite often. Before <laughs> you never cut it, it was so blonde. It, it yeah. You want to run your fingers through and give your sure. hair a feel and see how your length is and move it around a little bit. Yeah, it's perfect. It feels amazing. You like the way the front is falling? Mm -hmm. It's a good length, enough to play with. Like it up top, push this over, wear it either way, wear it back if I want to. Yeah, so that is the best part about the style is like mm -hmm. you can reverse. Totally try something a little different. Mm -hmm. This is where that like bomb would come in handy. Right. And kind of like add a little bit more shape and style and then just kind of let that fall a little bit. Totally, that's the so. go into a wedding kind of look. Yeah. And every day just kind of let it be more relaxed. Actually, I like that a lot. It's cool. Well, which way would you like to wear it today? Today, we'll Not go down. down. We'll go down with it. The use, the casual Friday look. Casual Friday look, yeah. I like it. Weekend hair. Yeah. All right, we'll try out a little bit of bomb. Cool. i do the temple smoke since that's what we yeah, did. Yeah, let's keep it up. Yeah. And a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. So yeah, I love in some of these really nice products. You don't need to use much. It's pretty concentrated stuff. Mm -hmm. That's good to And know. it spreads through your hands. It's like absolutely clear. So you're not gonna get like chunks of product just like Sweet. stuck in your hair like some other like stuff. Like every other product I've ever There's used. There's so many products that do that. So I kind of just distribute it on both my hands and then I'm just going to work it in and 
It smells like a del delicious campfire. Love it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I feel like a brand new man. Love that. Cool.